In this video, we're going to look at combining the filter function along with the VStack function in Microsoft Excel to perform a filter on multiple data sets on different sheets in our workbook. So you can see here I have a sheet for July orders, a sheet for August orders, and a sheet for September orders. And back on this summary tab, I want to perform a filter on all three of those data sets to filter on orders that are greater than or equal to $250. So before I jump into this, one thing I want to mention is the VStack function is only available in the Excel beta version. And the only folks that would be eligible for that version of Excel would be anyone who has a Office 365 subscription. What you can do is download the beta version, which it's not hard. I just did it. And I'll put a link on how to do that. You just need to follow a few steps so long as you have Office 365. So the first thing we want to do is convert each of our data ranges on each of our three sheets to tables. This will just make our life easier when we're referring to those range references in our formula. So I'm going to go to the July order sheet, click anywhere in this data range, hit control and T. This dialog box will appear, create table, it will automatically select all of the adjacent cells click OK. This will convert that to a table. This table design ribbon up top will be activated. It gives it a generic table one name. Now if you want to change that you can right there. It's not necessary. I'm just going to leave it as is. So we're going to repeat this for these other two data sets. I'm going to hit Control T, click OK. That is now table two. Control T one more time, click OK. That is now table three. So back on our summary tab, what I want to do is quickly demonstrate how the VStack function works. It's really quite simple. It just has array inputs separated by a comma. So you can input range references or tables in these arguments. So I'm going to start typing the word table. You can see there are three tables. So I'm going to select that first one, separate it by a comma, start typing table again, table two, and another comma, and table three. And you can see this simply stacks those three tables vertically on top of each other. So now I'm going to hit F2 to go back into our function and we're going to nest this in the filter function. The first input is the array we want to filter on and we have that already. That is the output of this VStack function where we combined our three tables into one single array. So the next input of the filter function is our criteria the column that contains the criteria values we want to filter on. So again, we're going to use the VStack function to combine our tables. So we have table one, but this time we need to reference a specific column in each of those tables. So to do that, you can add a set of brackets right after the table name. And you can see that those are three fields for our table, our criteria column is the order amount column, so that's what I'm going to select. I'm going to repeat this for table two and three. And we want anything in that order amount column that is greater than or equal to $250. And there it is. So now, what if we wanted to add headers to this output? What we could do is nest what we already have in another VStack function. 
And for our first array input, what we're going to do is inside curly brackets, add a manual array of headers with text values. So our first header is order date, comma, then we have order ID and order amount. So after this curly bracket, I need to add another comma. So this is our first array of text headers. Then we have our second array, which is the output of our filter function. Comma separates the two. And we just need to add a closing parentheses. So now we have the output of our filter function along with headers. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.